also tell you about the time Evans, when I... we're live. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Good morning, dogs. Uh, Fear Farm Decca information and raffle winners after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention, everyone. After second period today and tomorrow, you will report to homeroom. To homeroom instead of third. Don't be that person who walks in the homeroom at the wrong time because I will now have personal beef with you because I'll know you don't listen to me and I'll cry. But don't worry, there is a third period. It's just in a place of when you would have homeroom. This is all happening because of PSAT prepara preparation. In other news, the Deca Cookies raffle from Monday has found their winner to the lucky person with number 1766496. Six, Congratulations, you are the winner. Please stop by room 133 before school ends to receive your price. And if you don't get it, I mean, I guess I'll take it. For more deck information, check out the Hot Dog Chatter. And now it's time for Brody and the Maris segment. Thanks to Mr. Journey Maddox for our question. Now send it to Brody and the Maris. What's up, dogs? Shout out to Journey Maddox for the question. The question of the day is, if you were on a deserted island, what item would you choose? What item would you choose, Brody? If I would see the item from the island, I would choose a boat to ride on with my girlfriend Maris. Hey, girlfriend Maris! What would you choose, Maris? The beach. Hey, the beach! I like the beach too. <laughs> now, send it to your host. Um, personally, I wouldn't be stuck on an island, to be honest. But now, sending it to sports. Thanks, brother. Good morning, dogs. We have the results of the boys' tennis team. This season came to an end last night as the Hot Dogs lost to Lafayette Central Catholic in round one, in round two of the sectionals. The team had an overall successful season and ended with an 8-7 and seven record for the year. The coaches want to thank the team for making the season not only successful, but fun. We will miss our seniors, but we are looking forward to the next season also. Thank you to the amazing families for helping to make the season even better with your help on everything from food to travel to cheering. On the tennis team, thank you everyone. And also got the results of the girls soccer team. Girls played very well against Danville, com competing and keeping the score one to one the first half. The senior Fenya scored her first goal. The girls kept playing hard, but Danville got a few more goals in the second half, ending the score at one to five. However, many improvements have been made and it really showed during the game. Well, dogs, don't got anything else for sports. Now sending it to RJ Corndog for weather. Thanks, all, and good morning, dogs. It's cold walking into school with it being 46 degrees. But it's finna get up to 77. And look, it looks low-key sunny. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you guys today for weather. Have a great day, hot dogs. The first beer farm is tomorrow. Students who signed up to work should meet outside the band room at 4 p.m. and make sure you wear all black. Please see Mr. Hutton today if you're going. For lunch today, in lines one and two, it's spicy chicken sandwich, and in lines three and four, it's Big Daddy Pizza. Uh, a special happy birthday goes out to Jimena Angeles, Cruz Angeles Mejia, Sydney Chambers, Allison Cruz, Alexander Galvin, Tristan Moore, Uretzi Munoz, Jalen Smith, and our weather boy, RJ Corman. Oh, and one last announcement. I would like to formally apologize to Mr. Hunter for forgetting his birthday yesterday. Evans prepared a song as an apology. Take it away. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Mr. Hunter. Happy birthday, oh, to you, Mr. Hutton. Yeah. Happy birthday oh, yeah. to you. 